Hello, in this video series, I'm going to take you through using the Meta Humans uh, with Quixel Bridge. And as you can see, there's quite a good selection of presets to go with to start. So if you've got Quixel Bridge, you can get access to this and you can uh, pick any one of these bases to start with. So I'm going to choose a male character. Let's go for this one. And we're going to start the uh, Meta Human Creator. It's going to launch a, a web page here and this will take a, a little while to set up but once that's loading up i'm going to talk you through uh, the intended workflow here so i've got maya open maya 2020 uh, i also have bridge open and for any characters that i have downloaded and created so for this one for example if i go to the uh, export settings you can see i can export from maya or Unreal Engine. Now it's important that you've got your plugins enabled here, so the engine version, and as you can see, this is roughly where the the plugins uh, get located, so your location of your Unreal Engine version plugins. Okay, Maya also has a plugin as well, so that it can read in the, the shaders and things, uh, whether you go through this one or the menu here. Wouldn't worry too much about the extra stuff, I just go by the the U asset and source asset is important to get both of these otherwise you might get issues so when you download uh, it takes quite a while to download and generate but it's going to jump back to the presets go to create meta human okay and it's a little bit of latency with it just now so if you use alt and left mouse button you can look around and check out all of that so that is quite a lot of geometry and if you zoom right in you'll see that they do get a little bit janky the closer you go so you can see their actual geometry and not some screen trick or something like that the eyes use uh, parallax tricks for the uh for the iris here which is really nice if you take a look at these shaders in unreal they're quite uh, interesting to learn from um you can see there's uh, the tear line here there's also uh, an extra a mesh sitting in front of the eye that does a kind of shading to make it look like ambient occlusion uh, sort of shadow at the top which really helps the eye uh, not to pop too much uh, make it believable and the eyelashes here uh, they could be x-gen uh, strand types or um, they might be texture based I think when you export they are texture based as you can see the the brow here is also uh, strand based uh, you can see how that's sticking out there so uh yeah so that's pretty much that and uh, let's go ahead and edit this guy so i think i'll click on next there's different lighting modes as well you can check out different lighting see what one you want to work in i quite like this one and you can change the rotation a bit and whatever you prefer uh, you got this um, in different numbers you can press to focus on different parts and um, you can see what it looks like in just grey material uh, you can hide the hair and there's uh, some some key uh, hotkeys here I'll just hide those um, got focus uh, you got the eyebrows we can change these things and and whatnot right so looking at the head the first thing we can change is the hair so let's just choose this one oh uh yeah that's the one i want and the amount of roughness salt and pepper is the white uh the white hair is coming through so i'll just have that off and we can't really do anything with the length of the hair or anything like that just yet but i'll show you um some things that you can do later so we've got all the nice looking hair there and we want to make some changes to the face let's see so i'll just go to the eyes in fact i'm going to add a little bit of a beard and get a more bit more salt and pepper than that and I guess my um, hair would as well ok 
Okay, um, and let's sculpt. Now I can change the proportions of certain parts. There is a limit to how far you can move some of these parts purely because it may um, break the underlying rig. That's really nice. Um, and then we can look at, let's see, moving parts. Can really move bits around and make them even broader. So that's very similar to what we had before, but we're doing it in groups. The whole face strike is made of loads and loads of bones, which are causing these distortions and, uh, you know, this MetaHuman creator is distorting those. Let's click the preview and play, and we get to see it in action. There's something a little bit uncanny about all these faces. They kind of look like each other or something. Um, so you might want to make them more unique and a way that you can do that is to export to Maya and make some adjustments. Okay, so it should be good. Just, I'll just leave anyway and um, let's just go to that and download it. So as you can see, this part takes quite a while. Uh, we'll say that it's downloaded or generating for quite a while and you wanna wait until that's done. Uh, but this will conclude this first part of this tutorial. And in the next part, we'll look at exporting this to Maya and Unreal Engine to get started. Thanks for watching, bye.